That was my garden. It was last summer. It was just full of beautiful sweet peas that smell so wonderful. I'm going to be starting my sweet peas today. Spring is finally here and I can't wait to share with you a little secret that I do every time I start them. Sweet peas are such remarkable flowers. You can get so many colors and shapes. I love sweet peas because I started them last year in spring, around March I think, and they lasted me all the way to September. As long as you keep trimming them and taking them inside, they won't, you won't let the little seed bud develop and you'll have flowers. And you will have flowers for a very long time. Be careful if you have children or pets because sweet pea flowers are poisonous. So make sure you do your research to find out if they're appropriate for your location. I like to start my sweet peas indoors, so I end up putting a little jar with water and then I insert my little sweet pea. But the secret is, before you place your seed in the water, I will show you exactly what to do. All you need to do is get a file or sandpaper or a knife. Whoops, that flew. <laughs> but all you need to do is just rub the sweet pea against the sandpaper or the file until you get the hard shell off one little area and then you place it in the water. You don't have to get the whole thing off, just a little portion of it. This will allow the water to get into the seed itself and make it a lot faster to germinate. It's really easy and it's extremely effective. You can see on this seed, there's little areas that I've rubbed off the hard shell, which is the inhibitor that protects the actual seed. The process is called scarify, so you're creating a little scar and this allows the water to go into the seed itself. You're taking a little piece of the hard shell, the inhibitor, and now you can have a seed germinate in three days, around three days. It used to be about seven to 10 days for me, and now I actually see it germinating in three. So for me, I'm in a hurry because I'm really behind this year. It's worked out so well. Look at the beautiful, beautiful seedlings. I am so happy to see them and I can't wait to put them outside. Remember to rub your seedlings. This will make them so much stronger. That way, no matter if it rains or the wind, you will have very healthy seedlings.